and new here at six. A Los Angeles area oil refinery says they're packing up and closing shop. Phillips 66 says they will end their operations by the end of next year. And KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers live at the desk now with more on this decision and what it means for consumers, Mike. Yeah, you know, Pat, we've been looking at this Phillips 66 refinery. This is down in Wilmington. Now, uh, Phillips 66 says the, uh, it's uncertain how the future will look in La Los Angeles area for their refinery. Because of that, they say they are planning to close up shop and uh, cease operations at the refinery, the 260-acre refinery, by the end of 2020. Now, there has been a lot of discussion. You'll remember Governor Newsom just signed that new bill into law, which would mandate that refineries hold a certain amount of extra uh, uh, product in their refineries in case of things going offline. A lot of people have tried to point to that as the reason for this. Experts I spoke with and Phillips 66 themselves saying that really has nothing to do with it. They are the small uh, player in the market here, only operating about 8% of the market compared to 90% of the other big four oil companies. Uh, the governor's office also notes that this is a 100-year-old facility. Facility. But, Pat, there is one big question on everyone's mind. In bottom line, everyone is concerned about the consumer. Everyone is concerned about gas prices. Does Phillips 66 pulling out of the refinery business in California have any impact or will it have any impact to gas prices in the state once they leave? It should have any impact. They're planning this for a year in advance. And the new law we just passed said that the refineries doing business in the state have to plan for having enough supply and resupply. So this should not have any impact on 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 the price consumers pay at the pump. Yeah, now Jamie and I talked about how this is uh, a years long, a year long plan rather. So everybody should be on board and ready to go for that transition once Phillips 66 stops refining fuel in the in the in the Southern California. But also pointing out that Phillips will still bring fuel in to Southern California. Just because they're not refining it here, they will still be a player in the market. Uh, the California Energy Commission released a statement saying, quote, the company has committed to minimizing impacts on Californians while they continue to meet fuel demands, maintain reliable supplies, and ensure they take necessary steps to fulfill both commercial and customer needs. Their plan to replace the production lost from the refinery closure, it is an example of the type of creative solutions that are needed as we transition away from fossil fuels. Pat, that transition away from fossil fuels is something that Jamie Court and I from Consumer Watchdog also talked about. When Phillips is looking ahead, they are looking at how California is transitioning to the mm -hmm. EV market. And they say uh, he believes that doing business in here in California is just expensive. It's an older refinery. They don't have a big share of the market here and thinks that they can bring importing those fuel uh, fuel into Southern California uh, cheaper than they can to make it here. And it's more sustainable for them. Pat. Well, Mike, we should tell our viewers we will stay on top of this and report any changes, yep, whether up or down. All right. Thank you, Mike.